Let us turn to Carvana. Shares are shifting into high gear this morning after the company announced a deal that would reduce its debt by more than $1.2 billion. Yahoo Finance's Prof. Subramani enjoys us with the details. And this is a bit of a complicated deal here with multiple parts. So talk us through it. Yeah, Julie, a uh, very complicated lifeline for the company, I would say, uh, striking an agreement with their bondholders, eliminating around 83% of its debt due in 2025 and 2027, meaning its debt load will actually decrease by $1.2 billion, and its interest expense will go down by $430 million over the next year, so a lot going on there. Kind of huge for a company that was bleeding cash not too long ago. For the bondholders, the new notes are secured, higher up the debt food chain, secured by assets of Carvana and Adesa, its, its online auction business. Uh, separately, the company's filed a secondary offering to sell 35 million shares that around, uh, raised around $350 million. So, you know, another move there also kind of that, that had a little bit of a, uh, a downward pressure on the stock, but not much. And finally, you know, Carvana announcing Q2 financial results, vehicle unit sales missed estimates, but revenue and profits topped Wall Street expectations. Well, and I want to pick up on that, Pros, because, you know, there's Carvana, the fundamental business, and then there's Carvana, the debt story, right? So today's more about the debt story, but dig into those actual results a little bit more. You know, we know that used car pricing has been moderating, right? What does the demand side look like? What's the, what does the prospect look like uh, for a Carvana? You know, I think one of the, the key kind of metrics that caught my my attention was, you know, so they didn't miss on the vehicle sales unit, uh, sales uh, total, but they actually increased their profit per sale by almost double to over $6,000 per car on average. So that's really strong for them. I guess the key is, is, can they bring down some of those operational costs? It seems like they're selling cars, but uh, once again, at a profit. So it seems like the demand is there. Pricing is pretty uh, competitive with other offerings. So I think that they're in the in, in, a, in a good driver's position here, a driver's seat here. The question is, can they bring down a lot of those uh, structural debt costs? And it sounds like they are doing that. And I think for the bondholders, they're, they're happy to to take on this deal to get better uh, a better situation from like a, uh, a credit point of view, from a uh, kind of a, um, excuse me, the asset point of view. So I think it's a good win for both sides, but I think you're right, Julie. It's a question is, can they get right the ship and become profitable at some point? Yeah, uh, we'll see. And we'll see if they keep getting rewarded even when they're not. Prof, thank you so much. Appreciate it.